If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Band's template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points. MasterPTE.com.au The best PTE practice software in the world. The development of the cognitive function efficiency is important in improving the efficiency can help people to process information faster. But why does the efficiency of cognitive functions matter? Because the efficiency is not only about speed, but also about accuracy. Additionally, people have limited resources and brain compensation to process information, so improving efficiency is important. For example, if cars have unlimited resources, then we won't consider the efficiency of fuel of cars. Instinct is a term used to describe a set of behaviors that are both unlearned and set in motion as the result of some environmental trigger. Instincts are also often discussed in relation to motivation, since they can also occur in response to an organism's need to satisfy some innate internal drive tied to survival. Instincts are present across species and are consistent within individual species. In other words, many different species rely on instincts and if one member of a species possesses an instinct, then they all do. 
Before we move into a discussion of specific types of instincts, it is important to distinguish the difference between an instinct and a reflex. Both are types of unlearned behavior that tend to serve a survival purpose. The difference is that a reflex is typically a simple reaction or a response to an environmental trigger, whereas an instinct is a much more complex set of behaviors. The experiment is combined with psychology, social science and computer science. The experiment record position of students every 3 to 5 second and ask them question depend on their activities. Then, the method is continuously developed to ask the question about space and how space can affect learning. The answer could be used in urban planning as well as campus design.
Architecture design is important to buildings. In the Victoria era, architects designed buildings based on bricks and other materials. The design of floors was based on lighting as it will not only affect appearance but also health conditions. In the 20th century, many buildings with design flaws were demolished or modified through a natural selection process, though it's argued to be unfair for the buildings. The aperture of a telescope is several times larger than the aperture of the human eye so that the objects that cannot be normally seen by the unaided eye can be seen. Light gathering power of a telescope is proportional to the area of its aperture and hence depends on the square of the radius of the mirror. Therefore a 20 centimeter diameter telescope collects four times more photos than a 10 centimeter diameter telescope. A telescope can be equipped to record light over a long period of time by using photographic film or electronic detectors such as photometers or CCD detectors while the eye has no capability to store light. A long exposure photograph taken through a telescope reveals objects too faint to be seen with the eye, even by looking through the same telescope. A third major advantage of large telescopes is that they have superior resolution, the ability to discern fine detail. Small resolution is good. The resolution is directly proportional to the wavelength being observed and inversely proportional to the diameter of the telescope.
Studying law at university over three years gives you a really unique opportunity to acquire a much greater and much more mature level of understanding and knowledge of uh, the law, which can be a, a real benefit to your career in the future. If you're not so sure if you want to study law, law can also be an incredibly helpful degree for a multitude of other careers. For example, politics, journalism, the charity sector, the United Nations. It can be a springboard to all these different types of degrees, that careers. Why is this? Well, because of the way that we teach law. A law degree involves not only studying what the legal rules are, but really taking an analytical approach to the world around us. It involves thinking about why certain laws exist. Can they be justified philosophically? How have they developed historically? <coughs> what social goals are they trying to uh, serve? And how should the law develop in the future? So here at Cambridge, we're not just studying what the law is. We're talking about what the law could be, what the law should be. Globalization is an overused and often misunderstood concept. We hear it all the time on news broadcasts and in any type of public discussion. But the starting point for understanding globalization is that it is industries and markets that globalize, not countries. That's why it's helpful to think of globalization as the integration of economic activities across borders. But why does globalization matter? I would argue globalization matters because it means the rise of interconnectedness between countries and markets across the world. For example, one of the reasons why the financial crash of 2007-2008 was so serious was because the financial and banking systems of countries around the world have become so closely interconnected with the globalization of markets.
In the old world which was 30 years ago, people could easily find out who was in charge of the world, but globalization has disconnected the world and bureaucracy. Nowadays, we are living in a digital information world, where big governments and companies hold technical data and information is processed in bytes and bits. Now, information can reach and touch people but people cannot touch back. Thus, digitalization has changed the world and bureaucracy. I suppose it's the truism to point out that citizens need to be well informed. Maybe it's something we take for granted in our liberal Western democracies. But there will be plenty of societies, well, that is, run counter to explicit government policies. Many areas of the world still suffer from the reverie of the deliberate missing information. Governments, especially the unelected ones, but also some elected ones, have denied the events that have ever taken place. They pretend that other events did take place. They would help spin what they cannot deny. Ensure they used every trick of the book to pull the eyes over the world in an attempt to cover up their mistakes.
the pace, the pace of which that the human minds have evolved over the last half million years, and more recently the last 200,000 years, has so frighteningly rapid the evolution of cognitive function and perception in different ways, can only happen to the actions of a small number of genes. If one needed to adapt dozens of gene changes in concert in order to acquire the penetrating minds that we have now, which our ancestors 500,000 years ago didn't have, the evolution could not have taken, could not have occurred so quickly. And for that reason alone, one begins to suspect that the genetic differences between people who lived 500,000 years ago severed that cognitive functions than ours are not so large. Therefore, a rather small number of genes may be responsible for comforting us that powerful minds which we have now, which the most of us now possessed. If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Bands template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points.
masterpte.com.au, the best PTE practice software in the world. Thank you.